New beginnings. I never assume anything will be easy. Nothing in life is easy and we all have to work for it and on it. So I knew going into this small studio apartment was going to be hairy at times. Michael put up a curtain that at least gave some privacy for us in the bedroom. Elon didn't mind. In fact, that little boy loved it. He slept on the recliner with his cell phone tucked away with him under the covers. Michael, for a former single man, kept an orderly house for the most part. Yes, he at times lacked in certain cleanliness, which I of course took him to task on and took over in those duties. But it wasn't even that that started to put a minor strain on the situation. It was his beloved dog, Bandit, who I was convinced at times he would take over me. Now don't get me wrong, I love dogs. In fact, I had a dog I loved dearly. His name was Pirate because of the black fur around his eye. In Guyana, the care for dogs is different than it is here in America. For example, our dogs stay outside the majority of the time and hardly come indoors, if at all. Bandit, to say the least, was spoiled. Michael made this dog organic chicken. Can you believe that? I've never seen such a thing before. Who does that? White people. So aside from the few hiccups, we found our groove. We all woke up together, ate, and went out the door, taking the same train. It was a nice routine, although it was definitely a chore taking Elon to school every morning. He was still attending St. Benedict's. I wasn't going to pull him out with six months to go in the school year. Half the battle was making it on time due to the damn trains. The plan was by the fall of 2020, I'd have graduated and had my dream job at Amazon or Google. And then hopefully we would have either bought a house or been close to getting one. The idea was either a move to Jersey. Michael opposed that, he hated it, but he didn't want to stay in Queens either. He wanted to go back to Long Island where he grew up. He said the schools on the island were very good. Levittown or Wanta were the two he suggested and he was right. If anyone knows me well, they will tell you that I do my homework on everything before I even consider making a decision. And yes, those towns were great. We would go on drives and pass them by. And I have to say, I started to fall in love with the notion of owning one of these houses, but the prices were crazy but where there was a will, there was a way. And I prayed on that every day. Prayer was and would always be the key to all things in life. I prayed for Elon, Michael, and our families, and this was no different. The Lord shall always provide to those that lay upon his tidings of faith. 